Hi, I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. Violent crime in America is on the rise. According to the FBI, murders are up more than 6.5% in the country's biggest cities. Byron Pitt spoke with a community activist in Philadelphia who's waging war against crime in that city. This is not something that gets started yesterday. This is a problem that is deep-rooted in our own people. That's a self-hate thing that you're seeing going on right now. Self-hate? Yeah, self-hate. What does that mean? You mean self-hate, I'm saying like, brother, it's too hard. In the city of Philadelphia, even with men, just along with men, when we see another brother doing good or better than we're doing, instead of asking that brother for, for help, we hate ourselves because we're not even doing that. So we may do, we may go kill that brother because he's doing something we want to do, so we try to take what he's doing instead of getting becoming a part of what he's doing. And that's why in every other race, bro, you see people become partners. In our race, we don't have a lot of partners. How do you fix it? Well, like we say, don't talk about it, be about it. First of all, the people got to step up. This is our problem. Uh, you've been hearing it all over the news, all over the radio. People been saying, well, the police need to do more of this, the government need to do more of this. But the people must step up and start trying to solve their own problems first because we know our problems better than anybody else. In Philadelphia, this is a black problem, you think? Well, no, I wouldn't guess label it as a black problem, but I believe there is a black problem. I won't say, you know, I won't guess label it as that, but at the same time, there is a black problem because if you look at the statistics, there are a lot of black males killing one another. I mean, you can see, I believe it's Hispanics, Caucasians are all getting caught up in it, but African Americans have astonishing numbers that are standing out with using guns on one another. Mm -hmm. When you see this wall, what do you think? Another mother crying. Another, um, another child left without a mother or father. That's what I think when I see this wall. And also when I see the wall, it makes me upset that a lot of guys who tote guns and try to be cool pass this wall every day. And they don't, take, they don't even take nothing from the wall. We're going to the community and putting their guns down. You would think they'll learn something from this wall. But at the same time, when you see these amounts of numbers, for a guy who's from the street, he sees this as, I must protect myself because I don't want my name up on this wall. So you're telling me if all these guys had a job, yeah. they would get rid of their guns and everyone would live happily well, I'm not saying after. that every single guy would give, get rid of his gun. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is that when you can put the money in the right place, to start trying to help fix this problem. Then you have something for these guys to step up to. Right now we have the city saying, put your gun down, but where do they step up to once they put their guns down? If, if you could change one thing, what would it be? Just love one another, bro. You just love one another. That's, it's, it's really simple, bro. The word love, I mean, if you have these guys on the corner who have true brotherly love to one another, if you have these sisters who have true love to one another, you won't see all these deaths right now. Forgive me, some would say that sounds like true hugging liberal stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's true. It's true. We have fell so far away from the word love and so far away from the things that we need to hear, we're used to hearing uh, fake things now, you know? So the things that we truly need to hear are the things that sound, sound you know, tree hugging and liberal because it's just, it's been repeated for so long and we won't even act on what's been repeated for so long. I'm not talking political love about, you know, let's go do this march and we want to help them people over here. No, come down where the get down is. And so that's what the real love is, bro.